Hello everyone, my name is Richard Royster, Associate Principal of Lafayette High School. Welcome to my home office. Today's video is going to be a video for parents, a how-to guide to use the Infinite Campus web portal. Now there is a web portal, but there's also an app that you can have on your phone as well. They are slightly different. I prefer the web portal, but you can get pretty much all the same information on the app. Today we are going to look at the web portal and some how-to information for you parents. It is so important to use Infinite Campus to keep up with your child's progress in school, with attendance events, and I'm going to show you some neat tips and tricks about how to use the Infinite Campus app and some important things that apply to you. Parents, if you appreciate this video, I hope you will give me a subscribe and keep up to date with some Lafayette happenings and some other videos that we have. But let's jump on in and check out the Infinite Campus web portal. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do in order to log in Infinite Campus is go to the Fayette County Public Schools website, www.fcps.net. Now I'm gonna do this on my phone, but you can do this on a computer as well. You're gonna click over here on the menu and you're gonna jump down to students. Let that load up. Then you're gonna go down to where it says Infinite Campus and let that load up and then go down to Campus Portal Login. So we're going to go ahead and click the Campus Portal Login, and then I'm going to log in with a parent ID that I have, and I will blank some of this out for confidentiality's sake. Okay, so we are logging into the parent account, and now it is very important that when you log in, you use the parent account because it has more privileges than the student's account do. So use your parent portal access, not your child's access, if you want full features. Now, if you have children in more than one school or more than one child in Fayette County Public Schools, you will need to come to the top and select students. So we're gonna select a student here. And you can see the first thing that comes up on the main page is this calendar. Now, honestly, this is not my favorite page, but there are some interesting uh, features here. Notice the assignments due icon, the little A plus signal, and the attendance events icon, the little bell signal. And those are on the calendar, so you can actually click on those icons on the calendar to see what those are. Now my favorite feature is to jump over here to schedule on the left hand side. So we're gonna click on schedule, and then when that loads, you can see the child's complete schedule. A day, B day classes, first, second, third, fourth block, the first semester and the second semester as well. Now, from this page, you can do several things. You can look at all the grades, you can email the teachers, and I, that's why I think this is the most helpful page. We're gonna jump down and check on this, on the grades in AP English Literature. So we're gonna look at Ms. Cox's class, AP English Literature, let's click on that and load it up. And we can see that the student currently has a C in the class, and you can scan down and see the, the grades on every assignment. You can see the date that it's due, the date that it was assigned, and if there are any teacher comments, you could see those on the right-hand side as well. So we jump down here. Now this is obviously the most important category, the summative category that every class will have, worth 45% of the grade. So this is very important to do well in this category. So again, very easy to see the child's complete grade in this one category. Now let's go back to the schedule. If I wanted to email a teacher, all I would do was click on the teacher's name. So we'll click on Ms. Cock, and that automatically loads up an email with the teacher's email address in it. So again, making it very easy for you. Love the schedule page, it is my favorite feature. Go ahead and put your favorite feature down in the comments down below. I'm interested in seeing what everybody else uses Infinite Campus for as well. All right, so we're gonna jump back down here, look over on the left-hand side. The next thing we're gonna look at is the attendance menu. Click on the attendance menu and we'll see what that shows is the attendance record for every day, every block for the entire school year. You can see under period, one, two, three, and four, the date out to the left-hand side. If there's no event that day, the date doesn't even show up. If it's the child was present for every class all day long, you won't even see that date. Now, if I wanted details about the attendance, I could take a look. So let's jump down to February 25th, and if I click on that, it's green, it's an excused event, but let's check it out. We click on that and open it up. And you can see the child checked in at 9.48 a.m. with a doctor's note, and that tells us everything we need to know about that attendance event. We can do the same thing for the other attendance events, the red ones that are unexcused, the yellow ones that are unknown. Very important, folks, that you track these with your child, 
and call our attendance office and reconcile those unknown attendance events and find out why they're unknown. Basically what that means is the child was not in class and we don't know why. So that would be very important in order for you to keep up with your child's attendance to resolve those yellow events. Now we're gonna look at the grades. We're gonna click on grades over here. We're gonna let that load up. Here you can see the grades in every class on one screen, both semesters. So up at the top here, we have AP English first semester, AP English second semester, and then all the way down, Media Arts. You can just see all the grades for every class right here in this one screen. If I wanted to see the individual grades from this, I would just click on the class name. And then there it is. It brings us back to the class pictures and, or the class grades, and we can see all the uh, individual grades for this class. All right, let's jump back to grades. Up at the top here, you will see that it says the recently graded assignments. This is important for the parents to see that these are assignments that were just recently entered. And you can see that this student has just recently received missing assignments for a couple of the assignments, meaning they were due and not turned in. Could have been that the child wasn't in class, could have been the child was absent, or could have been they did not have the homework. All right, the next tab that's gonna be important to look at is the fees tab. So let's click on the fees tab. Students have fees to pay at Lafayette High School. This is for textbook rental. This is for tech fees, which includes printer ink and printer paper. This also includes special supplies for classes like cooking or art classes that have special supplies as well. So you can see over here on the top right where it says all years, we're gonna, this will tell us the bill that the student has paid every year for the last four years at Lafayette High School. And we go all the way down to see if there's any outstanding balance. And it says amount due zero. So there's no outstanding balance. The student's balance is clear for all fees. Very important that seniors get all fees taken care of because it is required to have all fees cleared in order to participate in graduation exercises. Now let's jump down to household information. This is a great tab if you have a change to make. So if I wanted to update the household phone number, I could click right here on the update and it would immediately update that phone number for Infinite Campus. So then my teachers, the, the child's teachers would know, any automated calls would go to the new phone number, and of course any special announcements that needed to be made by phone would go to this number as well. Very important that your child obviously does not have the parent login because they could change this phone number as well. That is all the basic features of Infinite Campus, folks. I hope you like this information. I hope you'll put it to good use. Very important to use Infinite Campus regularly. I recommend at least once a week in order to keep up with your child's progress in Lafayette High School. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one.